What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. And we are talking a little bit about Queen Charge La Lune, um, probably the most popular attack strategy if you're gonna go across all like three Town Hall levels between Town Hall 10, 11, and 12. And uh, I wanna just show you guys some attacks and focus on some of the keys to it. Um, ironically, this first attack I wanted to show just because it's a fun attack, and it's similar to a Queen Charge Lalo. Uh, this is actually a uh, baby dragon, um, like a mass baby dragon Queen Charge thing. One thing that's, uh, keep in mind, uh, Town Hall 12, the Wizard Tower doesn't kill the max level wall breakers in one shot. That's something I actually didn't know until recently I started seeing it. It might have been... Uh, a result of an update. I, I don't remember always being like this, but that's definitely a, a, a plus for using wall breakers over maybe a jump spell or uh, earthquakes uh, to open up part of a base because the wizard towers often can kill wall breakers, but they cannot do it in one shot, which is uh, definitely significant. So yeah, so we're taking a look at some uh, Queen Charge Lalo attacks plus this one, kind of talking about the importance of it. Um, this strategy, I've seen it a few times actually with the baby dragons. Really, it's just about sustaining as long of a queen charge as you can. I mean, if you look at the spells, it's pretty much all rages. I mean, this is one big queen charge being supported uh, by the baby dragons and the stone slammer. And a lot of what we're going to talk about in this video today has to do with the stone slammer um, in terms of uh, when you deploy it, because uh, oftentimes you're going to have a free siege machine, you're not using it on your queen charge. Uh, so it's, it's we're talking about kind of how you're going to keep all these moving parts and how they're going to synchronize with each other in terms of when do you start the Laloon. That's a common question I get from my patrons on Patreon. Uh, on the Discord server when we're talking about various things, people are often asking, you know, when do I start my Laloon? When do I, uh, you know do this with my queen. So we'll, we'll look at that in today's video, Town Hall 12, 11, and 10. And I know in the last video I told you guys I'd do an earthquake spell uh, video on the quad quake earthquake uh, charge. Um, a little repetitive there, but uh, I just didn't have enough t attacks that use the earthquake spell. I mean, it's, it's kind of a niche type thing. You don't want to use it all the time because it is a pretty big spell investment. Um, but if I get enough attacks, I will make a video on it. And I also told you guys there'd be an, an announcement coming soon of some exciting stuff. That's true. Gonna have to wait a little bit longer, but there's gonna be an exciting announcement on the channel as well uh, in the coming, probably within the next week or so. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and start with some of the actual Queen Charge Lalo attacks, having said all that. And we're starting here at Town Hall 12. Um, this one using the jump spell and uh, yeah, I'll, we're actually going to see, I think, one of these attacks does use a Siege Machine, I think the Wall Wrecker, for the Queen Charge. But in general, um, you're going to want to use a Jump Spell or uh, the Earthquakes or the Wall Breakers just because um, the Slammer is a very powerful tool to have for your Lalo, specifically for the Queen Charge Lalo. Because what happens with the Queen Charge Laloon is you're, you're cutting out a very specific part of the base um, as you charge your queen in, and that often opens up some good pathing for the slammer where there's not many air defenses. It can kind of just go along and get a lot of value before you start your Lalo. So one of the key takeaways of this video is going to be dropping the slammer very early relative to your lava hounds and balloons and even relative to what value you want to get on your queen charge before you start the air part of the attack. Um, you're going to start everything very early and that's going to save time and allow your slammer to kind of help support your queen as she moves through. Um, so the king, of course, going to be used to funnel the queen in um, either on the start or on the entry. At some point, the king can uh, basically take care of an entire side of the funnel for you. Uh, good freeze on the air defense, getting it off the healers here, protecting them uh, long enough for the queen to take it out. And uh, CC comes out. You can see the uh, queen's going to lock onto the Lava Hound here, but right here, this is the important thing that I think is a key step in any Queen Charge Lalo, is we have the Slammer. I would have let the Slammer go even longer. I mean, he's already started a Lava Hound up here, but if you see, this air defense won't start targeting until the Slammer's already past the Inferno, so 
uh, basically what's going to happen here is the slammer is going to come through it's going to take out a lot of these buildings without much damage coming at it and it's going to kind of help funnel and create a better pathing for the actual balloons to come through so my only objection to this attack would have been uh, that the slammer could have been uh, deployed slightly earlier and allowed to kind of make its way through a little bit longer uh, I think ideally you're going to want to have the slammer kind of go down pretty low on health but not actually um, deploy its balloons inside. That's kind of the ideal situation because you want to get some value. The slammer has a lot of hit points and if you're not taking advantage of that, um, that damage is going to be coming at your balloons, at your lava hounds, which doesn't need to happen. Um, so keep that in mind. But anyway, uh, enough balloons to finish off the rest of the base here. Queen does go down, which does happen sometimes and it's, it's okay. One thing I recommend is bringing a wizard um, that you don't use for the initial like funnel or anything because what the wizard will do is it'll pull the healers across the base to help tank for the balloons if needed kind of an advanced technique and it's not something that's going to always apply but every once in a while you'll uh, see the value in it because if your queen dies you'll have like four or five healers just sitting there not getting any value if you put a wizard on the opposite side they can cut across soak up air traps because they'll go and start trying to heal that wizard uh, on the opposite side of the base or wherever you want to pull them to. So keep that in mind, that's a good tip to use. Um, this next one, again, using the jump spell, and one thing that we're seeing here is delaying the healers just slightly so they don't lock on to the king. Um, you don't want your healers switching to the king, so if both the king and the queen are active in the same area and both are taking damage, or especially if the uh, only the king's taking damage, don't drop the healers yet. Uh, so we had a typical freeze wall breaker to open up the inferno compartment. That's something that we uh, talked about in a video uh, about a week or two ago uh, using the wall breakers to charge at the inferno compartment. So it's just a simple freeze uh, wall breaker there and then a nice minion here just to get some percentage and start to uh, help funnel the queen in if needed. So there's the jump spell and you can see the eagle is activated. Um, you don't want to wait once the eagle has been activated you don't want to wait much longer if you can help it uh, because it's either going to start taking out the healers or the queen either way it's not going to be uh, sustainable so uh, here comes the slammer getting started here and once again you can see all I and mean, the slammer should have been started much earlier once again um, probably about 15 seconds ago because um, it's going to just go through take out all these defenses and there's not much damage in the area so oftentimes uh, the way your queen charge is oriented you can set that up so the slammer is not taking much damage and I think this was uh, good timing with the balloons kind of coming into support here only has one lava hound um, but using the freeze spell which is going to be very valuable um, for freezing the multi inferno and getting that damage off your balloons um, the slammer could have even been let go a little bit longer before the, the lala was started but for sake of time it might have been good that that switch was making uh, the queen which was made the queen came all the way around here uh, which was kind of surprising so she's gonna go down to that expo but uh, has the warden's ability has a haste spell and uh, the balloons will finish off this base here just barely but uh, get that last air defense and has a free giant just kind of hanging out there that was never used all right so we'll take a look at one more town hall 11 one this is a bit of a different uh, attack in terms of using the wall wrecker and a jump spell so it doesn't have the stone slammer which uh, as we've seen is very valuable for starting the lalo part of the attack in terms of uh, when you should start the slammer and then the lava hound and balloons it's really not a matter of uh, like a certain time it's really how far the queen has gotten in in the value that you want her to get so if the if the enemy queen is still up, you don't want it to switch on to the Lava Hounds uh, balloons. You want to make sure the enemy queen is going to be engaged by your queen by the time that the uh, balloons start to cut across the base. So you can start a little early and cheat in that sense, but you have to make sure your queen's going to step up and aggro the queen in time. Um, and then really it's, it's you know, have you cut out the right pathing? Um, is there, you know, a building that will pull everything in the wrong direction that your queen still has to take out but the earlier the better once the cc is out of the way once the queen is pretty much out of the way that's really what matters you don't even have to be getting the eagle or anything 
Um, it's really just about once you've gotten the, uh, the defensive aggroing troops taken out and once the pathing is there, you want to start as early as possible. So there's the jump spell. We had some ice golems in the uh, wall wrecker, which I'm. It, it can work sometimes. It just it doesn't do any damage, so it it definitely takes a lot of time because you're not adding any damage. If you have like a Pekka or Valks in there, they'll take out buildings, which will make it faster. Um, your queen will get through more because you'll have the extra damage uh, of the support troops. But um, the ice golems can work if there's a ton of damage. Uh, you're, otherwise, the troops might just get roasted and not get any value anyway. So here comes the Lalo part of the attack. Uh, very nice pathing and a good free spell on that Inferno. You're definitely going to want to be freezing the Infernos. Uh, if they're going to be up for a long period of time working on your balloons just because um, you're not going to have a ton of balloons just by the way you have five healers so uh, good to bring one or two free spells if you have the space for it as well as a couple haste spells um, and the warden's abilities obviously can be very helpful for getting through infernos so that will do it we'll fast forward through this one has an extra free spell not even used and then we'll switch gears to some Town Hall uh, 10 attacks here. Uh, starting with number 28. Um, this was a nice hit here using the Wall Breakers. And um, really at Town Hall 10, it's more true the lower Town Hall level you go. So it's somewhat true for Town Hall 11, very true for Town Hall 10. The Slammer is going to be what's going to be getting you almost all your value on the Lalo attack. So um, it's even more true that you're going to want to uh, start that Slammer early and really let it kind of do a lot of uh, work before you even drop your Lava Hound balloon uh, portion of your attack. So we can see here, just by virtue of limited troop space, still using five healers, you only have one Lava Hound, 14 balloons. So really, uh, a ton of the value here is coming from the Stone Slammer. Uh, good freeze, wall breaker combo here, and um, good funnel on the queen. She'll be heading into the base. Big part is the funnel, of course, um, because if your queen goes in the base, she can get a ton of value just because the Town Hall 10 defenses don't do that much damage, and the healers are still pretty strong at Town Hall 10 being level 4. Um, I like the delayed wall breakers here, so you're going to see... Right as the queen's about to take out this inferno, the wall breakers are dropped, so they do target the inferno, uh, or more specifically the wall that's uh, blocking access to it. But um, the queen takes out the inferno before it does any damage to the wall breakers. So she's in the compartment now, going to engage the defensive queen here. Uh, a few more wall breakers, they're not going to really do anything. And then here's the slammer. Uh, I would like to see it even earlier. I'm The slammer can almost never be early enough for me. Uh, Unless there's like a defense the queen's going to take out that's really going to do a whole lot to hurt the slammer, you know, you can wait. But one thing you'll notice is if you watch these replays back, you can always justify starting the slammer earlier, it looks like, um, just for saving time. So in this case, it's good value because it tanks the air defense while the balloons come through, which takes some of the pressure off the other Lava Hound, which uh, tanks that top air defense, and then still has quite a few spells. I uh, like the heal spell for the balloons as they cut across here. Plus has the Rage and one more Haste, so definitely overkill on this base. Fast forward to the end here. Um, strong strategy for Town Hall 10. Important thing, really, um, with Town Hall 10 being uh, semi-easy at the moment in the current meta, you want to make sure that you at least get the Defensive Queen and the CC troops taken out. Um, there's really no excuse not to get that because um, you can have a lot of things go wrong, but still 3-star. The main things that are going to screw you up is if the queen stays up and just takes out balloon after balloon, um, there's no way to deal with her, uh, or if the CC troops kind of stay up or something like that happens. Um, so you just got to keep in mind what the obvious things are that are going to ruin the attack and make sure that those can't happen. Um, no stupid mistakes in that sense. I like those uh, few balloons on that cannon. Uh, good investment there to get uh, the funnel completely made. That way the queen's not going to double back around here. Um, instead she'll take the jump spell which goes down right there and um, has that first rage for her. At Town Hall 10 uh, you have you know one less spell space than Town Hall 11 or 12 but relative to kind of what you're, you're going up against that's pretty uh, 
decent spell space you have access to. So it uh, allows for the jump, plus I think three rages, and then still a handful of spells for the Lalo. So uh, you definitely have the tools needed at Town Hall 10. King does a good job on the funnel there, so the queen's going to be pushed in, and she will engage the defensive queen right here. Once again, I would be starting this Lammer right now. I think it's definitely uh, time, and uh, you'll see right here, queen goes down, and then uh, at this point, the Slammer comes in. I was actually thinking the Slammer would come from the other side, but this, this side makes sense as well. It's going to take out Archer Tower, Tesla, um, thing is, I, do, I feel like these balloons aren't needed if the slammer was just allowed to go a little bit longer because it's not taking much damage and it can take all that out on its own given enough time. So really the thing that limits is time on any type of queen charge lalo attack, which is why um, you should always be you know, asking yourself in the back of your mind, can I start things earlier? Because um, oftentimes you'll be forced to start the lalo too early and really you'll be dropping balloons that aren't needed, which is kind of what happened on this attack. I mean, the Slammer could have taken out probably most of the base on its own. Um, the balloons are just kind of being dropped because uh, the defenses need to go down faster than the Slammer can otherwise do. Uh, so we'll fast forward here. Queen is still alive. Uh, good cleanup. Always want to have those minions down early as soon as you drop your balloons uh, to get the cleanup going. So that'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I, like I said, announcements to come. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectron out.